Hello and welcome to the University of Alberta's Opening Up Copyright Instructional Module on Open Licensing and Creative Commons. Licenses, including open licenses, allow copyright holders to specify the terms of use for their works. Terms of use can cover the full spectrum between the all rights reserved approach of copyright and the public domain where there are no conditions or restrictions on the use of a work. With open licenses, rights holders grant all users certain rights to copy or use a work. The Copyright Act grants copyright holders a set of certain exclusive rights in a work, including the ability to authorize others to use the work. While rights holders can authorize different uses to different individuals or groups of individuals through separate licenses, open licensing is an efficient way to grant the same set of rights to all users. For example, in the 1930s, iconic American folk singer Woody Guthrie distributed a lyric sheet of songs to fans, saying, This song is copyrighted in the U.S. under seal of copyright number 154085 for a period of 28 years, and anybody caught singing it without our permission will be mighty good friends of ourn, because we don't give a dern. Publish it, write it, sing it, swing to it, yodel it. We wrote it, and that's all we wanted to do. Today... If Woody or another creator wanted everyone to be able to copy their entire work without requiring permission, instead of separately granting permission to every group or individual, an open license can be used to grant the right to copy to all users. Open licensing systems are advantageous because they allow rights holders and users to deal with a consistent common open license or licensing system, as opposed to creating new licenses for each work. More systematic approaches also enable works with similar licenses to be integrated. For example, this module is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution, CC BY license, and can be remixed with other CC BY materials. However, not all licenses are compatible. While open licenses are not new, the systematic approaches to open licensing developed over the last few decades has made it easier for authors to open up their work and for users to better understand the terms and conditions of these licenses. In the same way that there is a spectrum between the all rights reserved approach of copyright and the no rights reserved of the public domain, a spectrum of openness also exists. In an open license, the rights holder allows the material to be copied. More open licenses allow even more uses of a work, including, for example, the right to remix or modify a work, and the right to sell a work. The first major open licensing system was created by Richard Stallman as the Free Software Foundation's New Public License, or GPL, which was designed for software. There are also related licenses like the new Free Documentation License. Richard Stallman is a founding champion of the free software movement. He views freedom in terms of liberty, not cost, or free as in free speech, and not free beer. For him, there are four fundamental freedoms his license provide. The freedom to run the program as you wish, for any purpose. The freedom to study how the program works and change it so it does your computing as you wish. Access to the source code is a precondition for this. The freedom to redistribute copies so you can help your neighbor and the freedom to distribute copies of your modified versions to others. By doing this, you can give the whole community a chance to benefit from your changes. Access to the source code is also a precondition for this. It's important to note that these freedoms do not preclude one from selling one's work for profit. A second major licensing system is Creative Commons, which is a set of licenses, an organization, and a movement. The organization was founded in 2001 by the Center for the Public Domain. A key figure in spearheading the creation of Creative Commons was Stanford Law Professor Lawrence Lessig, who was concerned about intellectual property inhibiting economic growth and technological progress. Creative Commons was inspired by the idea of intellectual or knowledge commons, much in the same way that certain commons have existed in the past, such as common grazing land and fishing pools. <laughs> The intellectual commons is a bastion of ideas and expressions of those ideas. When you openly license your work, you're putting it into the intellectual commons for others to draw on and benefit from. In addition to the Free Software Foundation and Creative Commons open licensing systems, there are other open licensing systems and many other types of open licenses. While the philosophical underpinnings and specific terms of the licenses differ, knowledge and the use of open licensing, both as a creator and as a user, 
broadens access to information. You should now be able to describe the nature of open licensing systems, provide an overview of the new public license and the Creative Commons licensing systems, and explain how licenses can be used to improve the visibility and impact of copyright protected works. This has been the University of Alberta's Opening Up Copyright Instructional Module on Open Licensing and Creative Commons. Thank you for your attention.